I'm Connor Reed for the Boston University News Service. My colleague Lupe Jacobson and I spoke with some Cambridge residents and experts to get their thoughts on the recent controversy surrounding NFL players who've chosen to take a knee during the national anthem to protest police brutality. I support all of the um, uh, sports players who are taking a knee and what they are standing for, and I think that it's a good idea for them to do it and to protest in general so people can be standing up for the black community because they're being treated unfairly in a lot a lot of parts of the world, especially in the U.S. Me personally, um, I think athletes are athletes, you know what I'm saying? And anything outside of that, it's really not in their jurisdiction, to me, you know what I'm saying? I think all protest is symbolic and it's I don't think much of it is actually super successful. Um, okay. It depends on what you define by success, right? Um, I think people have the ability to voice an opinion, mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's a very important exercise of civil liberty, but not all protest is equally successful, and I think a lot of it is ultimately not super successful. There is no reason why protesting about police brutality at a sports game, when you're not hurting anyone else, has any connection to whether our military will continue to be effective. Oh, well, I mean, we've had we've had plenty of students since last year who've decided to do it. We've had kids on our basketball team, on our volleyball team, and within our football team this year that have decided that they feel it's important enough to 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 once again call attention at a local level um, to what they see as being unjust. Kneeling is great, but it's just that it is kneeling, um, and it's calling attention to the issue. But what do we do now to make sure that we address it? and we try to make it better move.